Hello everybody and welcome back to Inspired Today. So I am coming at you guys today with a review on the BH Cosmetic Brushes that I had in my haul video. And it is the 14 piece signature piece brush set, which is these brushes right here. And this is just a little synopsis. It is cruelty-free synthetic hairs, and it comes with 14 different brushes, like I said. It comes with the powder brush, the contour brush, the domed, bu the domed buffing brush, the contour brush, the angled blush brush, the tapered blending brush, the crease shading brush, the large flat shadow and or concealer brush, the medium flat shadow and concealer brush, the tapered smudger brush, the small detailer brush, the angled brow and or liner brush, the bent fine line liner brush, and a spoolie brush. So they all come with the different numbers on them so you could know what they are like this one right here is the number one and it is the large powder brush okay so just a little oops sorry for my phone uh, okay. just a little my personal opinion and take on these brushes the fine angled brush I'm not loving it that much. I just, it's just, there's nothing else I can say about it. I'm just not a fan at all whatsoever. I just don't know. It's just, it's blah to me. It's just blah. But the um, buffing brush though, which this is. Actually, no. This isn't. Sorry. This is the flat contour brush but I actually wouldn't use this for contouring I actually use this to buff in the makeup kind of like the flat um flat top brush like this is great for buffing in your foundation into your skin contour I wouldn't necessarily use it for that it's just too big in my opinion to be I guess no. It's just like wait, it'll cover way too much surface area on it. So, for it being a contour brush, no. But it is excellent though for applying your foundation all over your skin. This though I would use for contouring, and this is the small angled blush brush. But you could use it because of this. It has that tapered and it is angled to it, so you can easily just put your powder right in there or even just buff out your contour because it just fits directly into the hollows of this cheek. It doesn't take too much room unlike this one does because this one like look at it. Look at the difference in the sizing. Like I I just wouldn't use this for that. This though is it? this though is I just love it for buffing out the um eyeshadows on your eyelid this right here i would definitely use for that and this is the blending brush so this they got this this i would definitely use for that which is you know it's really great just go back and forth and it's like really nicely packed and i must say this right here which is one of my eco tools this right here i use for blending and now i have another one like Although it is a lot smaller than this one, but these two are now become my favorite. My two favorites. And this, again, is a small contour brush. I don't know. It's like another contour brush. I guess you could use it for that, but like, I would probably use it. I actually use it to apply my highlight on the cheekbone because it's a small one so you just dab it or you could just use the side and just like sweep it that this I would use for like a highlight 
with contour I guess you can use it to kind of go in there but I don't know I just don't know buffing brush which this right here is good when you're applying the powder after to set your face because as you're applying you're also buffing it into the skin and you're making it look a lot more skin like or you could also use this to buff in the foundation into your skin this would work really great for that too these two I just like this one because this one's just a lot more flat on the top so you just you know I don't know I just like this one better because it's just flat top you just get one more surface area it's the crease shadow brush it's for me it didn't pick up enough shadow for the crease I felt like it's just a little bit too narrow or like not as dense so for me it this wasn't that I'm like eh but again all these brushes you could use them to whatever it suit your needs so just because it may be sold I say again back to this one this may be advertised and sold as a um contour brush you don't that doesn't necessarily mean that's what you have to use it at you switch it up and use it for whatever suit, whatever needs, whatever fits better for you. This right here. This, which is the eyeliner brush or the um, eyebrow brush, whatever you want to use it for. I don't know if it's because I use a different eyeliner or if it's this brush. But I must say, uh, when I applied my eyeliner with this, this was the first time that I actually applied it with the brush and I was just like, oh my god. Granted, the other brush that I do have is the Real Techniques. That one, I don't like it as much because it is really, really thick. And the e.l.f. one, I feel it's not packed enough. Whereas this one is just like really nice and packed and I feel like it's, it has some, it has a little bit of movement but it is still stiff enough. Whereas some of the other brushes, it's like either too thick or it's just not, not stiff enough but this right here and it's the number 12 the eyebrow and or liner brush is I I'm in love with this this is the powder brush of course you know stuff or you can use it for like a little bit of blush you just gotta not pack as much surface area but this is what it is shadow brush I kind of wish it kind of had a little bit more surface area through or like a little bit thicker but it does do the job when you are packing the eyeshadow onto your eyelid it does work wonderful for that one actually sorry i'm like looking down to look read what they're actually sold as this one being the smudger brush at I, I don't know it's just not i feel like it you need a little bit more or like a little bit more pencil-y like I don't I just don't I don't like this one as much for that but I actually like how they look like I said before the coloring the gold and the white that just sold on me because it looks really simple really chic and what it kind of gets to me a little bit how long the handle is like come on now seriously seriously this is just like so much longer and when I'm holding it I gotta like hold it like as if I'm like using my pencils gotta bring it down to the bottom but I do like the length of it when I'm washing it I do have you know a lot more room for me to hold it when I am washing it something that I did not like so much about the brushes was that there's some of the hairs they're not like even so it's like this one is like a lot longer than the other so I'm just like pulling it out I'm not even too sure if you can see like wood I just like pulled out but this is like just one of the hairs and they're not like smooth all around. You have like hair sticking out like this one. There's just like several hairs just like sticking out on it. But it is what it is. Other than that, I actually really like these brushes. You know, for the price of them, $22. For the price, you're getting like 14 brushes. That's not bad at all. And these are kind of surprised me a lot more than I thought they did. Besides, you know, some of the few, like this one, I just don't care for as much. But 
I must say I'm gonna purchase other brushes from BH Cosmetics because these mutts they're really good I've only used them about like once or twice yeah, once or twice. So I don't know how long they'll last. I guess I could do an, another video, an update about how long these brushes actually do last. If they do last for years or if there's something that's going to wear down in a couple of months. I could do that later on. But as of right now, I must say, these brushes, I give them about, out of five, I give them three and a half stars. Just for like certain little things like, you know. The look, definitely. You get a star for a look. I definitely love that. But just, you know, the bristle, the hair is not being even across. You know, there's like little slight things, but I would definitely recommend these. If you're looking for a brush set to start out on that's not that expensive, you could definitely try out the BH Cosmetic brushes. And this particular one, they have different ones, but this particular one is the 14-piece signature set. And I'll leave a link on the bottom for it. Bye now.